to order at 6.05. Uh, first order of business is to review and approve the minutes from April 5th, 2018. That was the joint meeting. So the minutes I hope you read because I scribbled them down yeah. and sent them. And I don't have them here. Oh, they should be here. No, wait a minute. I have them because you need to sign them. Oh, okay. Uh, let's take a look and see. Oh, right here. Yeah. For Ann Campbell to sign. Okay. Thank you. And thank you for taking those notes. As best I can. I was never really a very good secretarial person. That's for you. Mm. And. <coughs> It's only a calling for a select few. It's only a calling for a select few. And I wasn't really there, so I should have stayed. You were not there. I you know. Do you have a pen? Real quick? Please give it back. It's yes, yes, I I'm, I've gotten good at that, actually. It's <coughs> department property. Yeah. <laughs> All right, can I have a motion to accept the minutes of April 5th, 2018. Motion given. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Uh, and one abstention, because Phil was at the Frontier Committee meeting. Financial statements, warrants we're signing. There's um, 10 warrants tonight for $67,765.88. Okay. And the budget is going along as Yes, that everything went well. The one thing I did want to pass out, well, let's see, amendments, adoption, yep, 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 yep. School lunch, cafeteria. I guess we can wait until we get to it. Thank you. This is the sign. Oh, thank you. That'll come in handy. Okay. Great. Yeah, that's all there is for, um, Business okay. There's public comment. We have some public. Just just yeah. observing our lovely process. Observing. All, All right. right. Great. Keep Thanks for coming. <laughs> um, I would like to, if possible, uh, refer to a letter from a parent. Yep. I gave you a copy. And um, and I had raised this at a meeting before. Mm -hmm. Um, I would just like to report that I called. Um, oh, I did too. I have a little report from them. That's so you funny. Do it then. You do it This is twice in one day that like Kristen and I have done the same We're thing. We're doing double work. Yeah. Well, oh, you did. You took the lead out. So you called Lenny? Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, called Lenny. So did Lynn. But um, I have talked to Lenny several times yeah. throughout the year. And he doesn't have. Um, but have you been to the garage? Have you been to where the buses leave from? Yeah. Cool. Have you? It's a cultural experience. So you, you, you should go talk to him in person. And well, you know, the funniest thing is I had a nail in my tire the other day, and I was like, I was, I've been driving like all around, and I was like, oh, shoot, and Lenny got the nail out of my tire. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you can learn a lot by sitting in that garage for a half hour. <laughs> anyway. Um, so he said since 1978 students have walked to the covered bridge that they um that they cannot get a um, regular size bus up there he said they cannot there's not a turnaround place he cannot turn the bus around he said that he can he currently he has a van van that goes up there for another student for out of district but he can't get a big bus up there he said chris and i just can't do it he said that um, he can get a bus to Vite's garage, which means nothing Vite. to me. That's right at the end. Right doesn't at the end. Of the him any that's, that's the covered bridge. But well, he doesn't the, think that that's going to help them. It's not going to help. Said, um, Should we ask Tony Borton? He said mean? that he can get a van there if that's if what he can we turn want. around there. Yeah. He's got the horse farm there. Yeah. I wonder if Tony would be open to that. Yeah. The problem uh, is the bus the can't turn around. This driveway really isn't big enough. The bus can't turn around on that hill, and it's a steep hill. Oh, it's, yeah. It's steep. He has specific regulations for turnarounds, you mm -hmm. know, uh, in terms of where he can and can't. Yeah. So can, can the I, kids be transported on the van? And I will tell you that um, Lenny, any time I've called him in my two years, he's 
been so accommodating. He really has, and for anything. I don't know what so, his experience is, but he's always been. He said, I just can't get a bus up. So what's our legal responsibility? Our legal like, responsibility in, in a vacuum. Is, is to transport. Mm -hmm. So every, so every child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not and, door to door. So, right, so what's... They can't be guaranteed door-to-door. -door. They're a bus stop. We can pick them up at bus stops. So... Mm -hmm. Kate Burt's responsibility... Yeah. Kate Burt's... Uh, sorry, should I say him? No, sorry. But this mom's parents' um, concern is very valid. It's not a safe, you it's know... A one-mile one walk is a long walk. And it's not safe, so... Oh, uphill. Very. Home. So it's uphill this, both ways, really. Yeah. So we have to provide safe transportation. The school committee actually decides on routes and things like that. Well, there's routes. nowhere to walk on the side of that road. Right, people right. So, so there is an answer, but um, it's called a root ex extension. Did he tell you about the? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there would be a root extension. Yeah. And it it would have to you'd have to send a specific vehicle up there, and the district would be liable, as well as uh, Frontier. Mm -hmm. And what would that cost? See, now they're going mean, to be, it's going to be two different 10, schools. 15,000 per school year. Yeah, something to that. I, well, we have to double check with him. But yeah. when we talk about specific routes for s students that are identified as special ed and they have special busing, it's generally about 10,000 a year. Yeah, maybe maybe a bit more, um, but yeah, yeah. Well, now it's going to be two different schools, too. Yes, it's going to be two different schools. older ones go into yeah. Frontier, yeah. and the two will still be, at, the two younger will still be here. Right, right. So that's not just one trip up, that's right. four trips a day. Tony's right. got a big driveway. The bus uses, the, 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 bus uses the Kirk Alonis driveway to, to turn on Roaring Brook. Tony's, it's a horse farm. Is it the one that's past their house? It's, it's, it's probably where, where it turns it's that School big. buses used to pull into his driveway and park because they yeah. set up, in the 60s and 70s, they set up a tow rope ski mountain for the, when the grammar school was oh, in the middle funny. of town, and they would uh, take little buses Kirk Alonis's road is a closed public way. Yeah. It's a road. Like, it's... Yeah, because well, it's a business. It's, 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 well, it's, it's been a closed road, but if it's a, a road. If a neighbor says, sure, and Lenny comes up and looks and says, yeah, this turn radius will work, is it worth a question? Worth or to save ten to $15,000 a year. He may say no, and the turn radius may not be big enough, but it might be worth, you know. I'm I'm so have, you, have either of you driven up the road? There's. It's not right. that Tony's farm is, like, just below there, like for the kids to get there, it'd be much more manageable. Is it's it like the, halfway. Is it the big even. white yeah. house on the right? Yeah. yeah. Before you enter the on the oh, right side. Right. Big so open land on the left a, and yeah. big farmhouse. Okay. I was thinking it was the one past. The no, that's um. um so I have driven up. We can come back <clears> next month. So I've I've driven up there myself. It's like the most open little stretch of road and on that road, really. Yeah, I used to walk up there all the time when I lived in town. Uh, I'm gonna explore it, and I could I could find out this week. You know? the, oh, yeah. Good. Okay. The yeah. driveway they're referencing it, uh, I've seen, and it does seem reasonable that a bus could go past it, back into it. And come I think down. it's a little tight. I saw. I, I um, think the claps would be a better one, which is right on the corner after their house. I think we should explore, but I I really do think that if I thought he had an option, he would have. He would have given it. What do you think of a private driveway to turn around? I don't think you've seen it. I don't think you've seen oh, it. I, I think okay. the question is bringing a bus up that road. And I think that's the question, and turning that bus away. So if it, w it was a situation where we didn't provide the van, a van could certainly go up to our road anywhere. Could the van go? The bus stops coming up to my road from December to April because it, it's, it's a steep curve, and then it starts again. I mean, it could be the same thing, where a van goes up in the winter months. Um, Lenny's, Lenny's people know, yep, we'll see you in April, and we have to, we have to drive our kids to the Kirk Alonis's, uh, or the horse barn, where they get the bus. It could be, this, that's the arrangements they make in my neighborhood, because mm -hmm. in, this, in the winter, it's icy and it's steep. Mm -hmm. This road is less steep. Yeah, well, it's less steep. Way less steep. Our, our road is, like, very oh. steep. Oh. You um, just have a beautiful view, then. This is where yeah. it's still mm -hmm. paved the whole way. And then it's paved. Yeah, this yeah. would be paved all the way to the, yeah. the 
private driveway that we're just mm -hmm. contemplating. I think maybe like explore the contingency and take to, to take the bids of what it would cost. And I pledge within seven days, I will see if, if Tony says yes, I'll say, could I have Lenny Gribco come look at your driveway? Okay. It, it, okay. it may say no, I'm not going to, he's a really nice guy. Okay. Yeah, he was on you school know. committee for many years too. There okay. you go. So was Anne. So was this. So yes. Very broad driveway. What's the name of it again, yeah. Ira? I'm sorry. Borton. Tony Anthony Borton. Borton. Anthony Borton. B-O-R-T-O-N. Okay. And is it a farm or a house? It's a house. Right. With an attached but it's pasture. a pasture. Yeah, it's, it's a farm. Lots of land. Yes. Uh, so it's a big it driveway. It's a wide big very driveway. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Very okay. We'll so, check it out. Um, and Ira will speak to Gordon. Yep. Could the van that's going up there anyway for kids pick up these kids? It's an out of district oh, placement. Okay. And the, the, the money is paid for by a different district. Oh. But it, can't it, share? it must be hard on the family to see this going, you know. Yeah, that's not, I no wonder why they're. And when you have a, um, because it's paid specifically by special ed funds for special ed students. Yeah. But I did, I have talked to the family about a van actually, um, because I talked to that <coughs> Lenny about this several times. And. Um, Which school does a special ed van go to? Out of district somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I don't know who the student is. Um, okay. And um, I, I I have talked about the van. Um, so there might be an expectation. So. No, I said the one possibility that we could look into is the van, and um, they wanted us to continue looking into the bus. So, cause but I, I think we still need to be aware that even if the bus can go to Borton's land or Borton's. Driveway. driveway, it's still a root extension, so there will be a cost. Um, yeah. Okay. Plus, so plus we can ask yeah. him to ask yeah. for how much uh, an estimate of the root yep. extension. A, a van, and B, yep. a root extension. Thank you. So they would have better numbers. Absolutely. Sorry, mm -hmm. I, 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 we, we would have asked that, but I didn't. I wasn't aware of Anthony Porton. Yeah. Maybe Lenny isn't. Okay. And do you know if she's asking? Just for the transportation to the frontier, or both, both, both. both. Okay, because it said one was in preschool, so we don't provide busing for that. We have um, there's a, a one child that's going to be in sixth grade next year. Gotcha. And then one that's going to be in seventh grade. Yep. Biggest. Oh. And the preschooler will be in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Uh, not no, yet. no, not yet. Oh no. Not yet. Oh, it says currently in preschool. I'm just a we have a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You Sorry. forget that they start, sometimes you forget they start so yeah. young, right? Yeah. Sorry about that. No? Thank you for Obviously, that. Obviously, you know, wonderful family, very supportive. Yeah. We do what we can. That's weird, because I thought that bus went up to the Poland Gap. The Poland Gap is past their house. Yeah, and I yeah. thought a bus I always thought that too. went through the Poland Gap, because the... The kids that lived on the corner of Poland and North Poland. Mm -hmm. There used to be a whole bunch of kids up there. Yep. And I thought a bus went up to that point. And yeah. it was, I haven't been in town since 78. Mm. It's been in my time in town that I'm pretty sure a bus. Was there a, another way to get to that stuff? No, not through, not, no. Well, Poland Gap is past their house. Oh. It's like a narrow cliff. Um, the, uh, the other consideration with this is that from that farmhouse up the hill to that house, it is, it gets much cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper, yeah. Um, it's probably two tenths of a mile to maybe yes. a quarter of a mile. Not far. So it's significantly less walking, but, well, like but the, the, the two students would still have some walking mm -hmm. about a quarter mile. Sure. Um, but not but all the way down the narrow right, part right, of the road much shorter and easier to navigate. Uh, anyway. All right. Okay. okay. Onward. So our next discussion items, unfinished business, amendments to or adoption of the following policy is recommended by MA, MASC and recommended by Frontier Policy Review Committee. See attached list. I brought them. Have people, we have to vote them individually. 
Well, they don't at Frontier. Good. And But um, uh, the chair of the subcommittee is uh, Phil Cantor. Yeah, okay. And so he can um, guide you, provide guidance on that. You can, you can vote them all in one fell swoop. Great. Um, but if there's any questions. About so here. it is. There's a lot of them. Right. We've been making hay while the sun has been shining. Discussion. I will and tell vote. you that um, we actually tabled them, all of them, because we added a few uh, this week as well. Uh, and there were some added on May 1st. So Sunderland has tabled them to do them all in June. And if you want to just do the whole um, list of them in June. And I, I just need to point out that they are really minor changes. Right. They're, they're just really minor changes. Yeah, it's updated language, updated reflect best practice, updated best some of the like stuff is practice. entirely original to us too. We didn't, and we didn't, we never just 100% adopted what Mask said. That here's the new sample thing. We always tweet, made some kind of tweet to something, and uh, we talked about everything. We tried to. I have no doubt the them. committee that you were on discussed everything. We did. Well, many times <laughs> it was let's table it at this meeting and Lynn gather this information and bring it back to the next meeting. Yeah. And then yeah. I would present it at the next meeting and we would, they went through very closely. And the tweaks were just modifications that would fit our district. Right. Um, our double district, which is the Frontier Regional and the Union 38. Right. So. And, and some of the things, if you like, the wellness policy was really cool, and we had, and Kristen had a lot to do with it, and Meg yep. Birch had a lot to yep. do with it. Um, We've already been over that yeah. one, right? Yeah, at the at the joint, that it actually is a procedure. Right. So, do we want to vote these ones now, or do we want to put them all together? All together seems efficient. And oh, yes, sure. Then the, you can. Go one ahead. other thing too is that the the ones that you think would impact Frontier. Um, you know, high school Darius has has passed on and has made, or you know, whatever. So mm -hmm. there's been, they've all been sort of thoroughly rinsed through the whole administration. So do I need a motion to table this until they're all together? Uh, you can make how many? No. How many more are coming? In? No. No, you don't. All right, they're all done. We had our last meeting on Monday night. It was a 15-minute meeting to just check off. Um, Darius went through them with the MTA president for Frontier, and they had um, one sentence on each one, or adding the word designee on one, and we took out two sentences, um, one sentence and one sentence. We send those out, and uh, we're all done now. But no, they're, but this would give you a month to look at all of them before you vote so that we know you've had enough time. Um, you know, procedurally, you'd have enough time to look at them all. Okay, so we're going to table the policies to go over them all. Do them all at once. once. Okay. So next item is new business, and that's the increasing cost of school lunch. So the uh, the reason we're asking to increase from 285 to 295 per lunch is because the federal reimbursement amount is coming in next year at two dollars and ninety two cents. We cannot. Well, if we charge less per lunch than the government is giving for our um, our free and reduced status still students, then we have to pay back all the money, the difference. So we we actually need to uh, be aligned with the federal government at 292. So we decided to ask for 295. Nobody wants three pennies change every meal. No. no. We don't really have much choice in this because we have to line up. So we've no, been well the, educated. About the only this. choice is, does, is: is it worth? Is it easier for all concerned if it just goes to three dollars and you don't have to deal with change at all in that way? But I don't. I don't really know. That's what front. That's what Frontiers is at. The reason, uh, just so you know, um, the consistency across the four schools, they're all, you're the last one to go up to 295. We didn't ask for three, we asked for 295. Frontier's been three for a long time. Um, they, we actually asked to go to 310 there, and the board declined that offer. So that's very good because we are really moving in the right direction with our food service program. Mm -hmm. um, but if you went to three, the other schools would be at 295, and there would be like an equity issue, I would think. 
Mm -hmm. ah, there already is. Mm -hmm. Well, you do have a wonderful school here. Mm -hmm. Opinion? Agnostic. Sounds good, 295. Leaves room for another increase for later, I suppose. There's always going to be an increase. Yep. Federal government. Mm -hmm. okay. 295. 295. Second. Can I have a vote on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. Unanimous. Uh, vote of appointment of cafeteria team leader. Okay, so it's really the team leader <coughs> position that we're talking about, mm -hmm. and the job description is right here. Yeah. So we talked about this at the April Joint Committee meeting when you met Mary DeLusa. Mm -hmm. So every building has a uh, someone who's in charge, sort of the person in charge of the lunch program. Mm -hmm. And of course here it's, it's Jeannie, and she does a wonderful, wonderful job. What we'd like to do is, excuse me, recognize that by um, developing a new position that would be team leader and um, so she would have that authority to run, you know, because of the things that are expected, which is inventory and um, uh, the production, the, uh, the um, ordering and of those kinds of things and she's she's done right along yep. but never been recognized as a team mm -hmm. leader just kind of the person here doing it <coughs> so we'd like to do the team leader and um, pay accordingly and I to be honest with you I do not know what the price is and I do not know if it's going to be Jeannie but I would say yes yeah. but we really uh, we talked about establishing a team leader in each of the schools and so we want while we establish the food service director, now we want a team leader in each school, and they probably will, you know, get a little bit of extra money per hour to make up for that extra extra work and responsibility. Mm -hmm. Because of course Mary can't be here and be everywhere, but the uh, the person does the paperwork and essentially what is being done now, but without the title, without the without the stipend. So. Her back to where she was. So I mean, you know, th to me this sounds good. I, I will say that this was when when we first talked about this last April's or um, yeah, the, the, uh, they, the we were the, told this was coming. This, and, and that this was September. that this was to for Jeannie so that she would have a make up for in the pay that was cut because the hours were cut. So that the, right, that, that they, it would be coming along. So most like, likely the only. The, the fact that this is now like sort of not like in writing that it's for Jeannie has me like concerned because I don't know why it's being created. Because as, like, it's a, a title position and you have to. That's okay. It's you, a job description you, yeah. you're voting on. You we to, will appoint her, but we can't build a new. Just we can't get a new position in this district unless you say it's okay. Okay, and it's got to be posted and. Okay, that makes sense. She, you know, process. Yeah, and we will. Yeah, it's pretty shocking if it wasn't Jeannie. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't think there's a question. It's right. just, and it's not just you because it's the four other schools. Right. So, okay, so do we have on? a vote to appoint a cafeteria team leader? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think that is it for our new business. And we're on to reports. Uh, I'm going to hand out the non-union salaries. This is for your information only to look at um, for next year. Uh, again, this will be voted on in June. And this is what they look like. It's essentially a 2% um, for everyone. And oh, certainly, I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. And, um, it, it just mirrors what the sure. CBA is for the uh, for the teachers and the uh, instructional assistant staff. So these are the people that aren't covered by a CBA. But again, it's been six percent over three years for the uh, the unionized folks, and so um, this was set before I even came. It was two. It was six percent over three years for the non-union staff as well. 
So we need to value those people who do their work. Are we giving a vacant, unstaffed custodian position a $2, a 2% raise? That is not, uh, no, but what happened is, at the time the budget was made, these, this amount is in the budget at the time that person was still with us when we made the budget last December and January. So hopefully the person, the, the lucky candidate who gets hired to take that person's place will fall within that range uh, so that we uh, will be able to continue. But that is the money that's already set aside for these folks. Um, so. <laughs> So, and the, um, the business manager's contract will be discussed on Monday, so she's not there. And uh, mine is also in contracted, so everyone else is in here. That is not covered by the union, but is in the budget already. I like signing for the new clocks and paging system. Oh, that's okay. great. What would you say? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Are they in? That's I'm not completely done yet, to be honest with you, but... Okay. Good thing Ashley's not here. Money well spent. Uh, so I can get a... Do you need to vote these? Next month. Is it possible next month? Oh, next month, okay. Is it possible that the 2% uh, increase amounts where the secretary and custodians are just not calculating properly or something? It says it's only going up by $19.70. Per hour. So oh, the per person was hour. making 1951 gotcha. and now 1990 per hour. Gotcha. <coughs> I see it. All righty. Uh, I have no report. Ashley's not here, so there's no collaborative report. Principal's report. So I, I need you um, just a little write-up on things that have been happening for the attachment of all the upcoming dates. Well, um, the school budget flew right through. Isn't that That's wonderful? sort of number one. Thank you. Thank you. God yeah. bless the taxpayers. Yeah. Thank you. I would have been I sat with you all, but I didn't I know there was, was a seat up there. Yeah. But I was, th I was there. I was there. Thank you all for always supporting the school. Um, the tractor went through too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I, I, I was hoping we could think about yeah, moving the June date because unfortunately because of the snow days, the way it fell. Do you have any suggested grade, options? Graduation in the lane will be there and all that will be at graduation. Do you have a suggested uh, moving option? Oh, I didn't, date? Phil. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I, can I just say that I would really, I'd love to be there. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to be out that last, the last week of school. And the week before, luckily Sunderland <coughs> is Wednesday, or Tuesday on the 12th. And I'm thrilled because I just love that part of my job. Mm -hmm. And I'm thrilled to be there, and I don't know if you do it a little earlier or a week early but if you don't that's fine too that would be why i won't be there do we want to go to the 14th that works better for me no we have on the 14th flag day oh it's also engineering day all day is 14 mm -hmm. okay yeah, yeah. It's not, the, not the third week you're not going to be here no not the 17th or the 22nd oh but you'll be here on the 14th the 14th is going to be Are you sure? That's Thursday. Okay. okay. Is the 14th uh, a Thursday? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, that's okay. That, that's, I may not be here, but I can give Lynn my report because we have a lot of actually little girls that dance and um, they dance. And I got special tickets to go to the recital. There's quite a few kids involved, and okay. I'd like to do that. Yeah. Um, but I would give Lynn my report and all the information ahead of time. That's fine. You know, folks, I wouldn't answer it, but it's, it's fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can keep going with our... So okay. we're, we're going to... Is there a motion to move yeah, to the fourth? We have to have a motion to do that yeah. proper, like, and on the record. Okay. Let me take notes here. Somebody um, going to make a motion? I'll make a motion to move our next school committee meeting to June 14th. I'll second that. All in favor? Yeah. 
Aye. Aye. Bill? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, uh, six, fourteen, sorry. I think that would be better than the 28th anyway. I'm at the town. Yeah, all right. Okay. Um, so I gave you some upcoming dates, exciting stuff happening here at Conway Grammar School. Um, are there seats especially put aside for school committee at graduation? You know what? Let's start that tradition. Okay. I like that tradition, and it should be. You should get some perks for being on the school committee. I would really appreciate that. You should get some perks for being on the school committee. Sixth grade parents sit in the first couple of rows, right? I don't know. Yeah. One. I think it's kind of first come, first serve, isn't it? And what I'll do, I need to get control of this. So last year, um, it was my first year, so it was my first year through everything. Well, I was walking by the gym at about, I don't know, 11.15, and there were, you must have noticed this, Ira, when you came in, there were names all over seats. Mm. So parents had come in, because I think that's what they have done over the, yeah. and they put names on seats, and I was like, Oh wow! I, I don't. So I didn't we know. Didn't do that. I didn't. Know, I was really stuck because I was like, "Do I take these all off? If they've right. been doing this for years, they're going to come in. People are going to have my right. head. Do I right. start up something new next year? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get notice out. Yeah. Nobody can come into the building until a certain time. But you should have a perk as a school committee member. That's for sure. And I'll ask school well, committee Ira members. Well, I said too. Maybe, maybe the parents have a couple of rows to sit in, but that depends on how big the families are. Several. So I, I in my letter, I'm going to recommend that. That immediate yeah. family yeah. set up closer, yeah. and then if there's yeah. aunts or yeah. uncles or whatever. Yeah. So, so I'm glad you brought that People up. People usually respect that, especially yeah. if it's a document. Yeah. Um, so we just we had our last day of early release last week. It's so funny because Sarah Kettles, our IA representative here tonight, and I wrote about it in my report. Um, and Sarah, the RIAs took care of the extended day this year, the 1.30 to 3 o'clock time, and um, they did such a phenomenal job. Um, on, you know, the flip side is half of them could have professional development on, mm. but it was every other week, so it wasn't terrible. It wasn't like every four weeks. But planned a uh, really great splash and water fun outside. We had 63 kids. Oh, my there. God. I told you to get 70 popsicles, yeah. and we just made it. And I thought that was too 30. many. Yeah. Wow. And they, the kids had a ball. They loved the program. Yeah. It was really great. Really kids who don't it. kids who don't even need the program come. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. that awesome. was Walking through a crowd of kids with a box of popsicles is like one of the best things you yeah. can mm -hmm. ever do. Mm -hmm. Um, MCAS with grade five is today and tomorrow math, and then Monday, Tuesday science, and then we'll be done. Kids are reporting that the test seems fair, um, that kids haven't been overwhelmed by the test, so I'm feeling good about that. Of course. Do you want to go? That's why the state's getting rid of it, of course. Now that they got the, um, do I want to go? To the poll. Oh, yeah, I probably should. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, can you shoot Phil's excused. Phil, will you shoot an email? Right. Oh, yeah, they, they said they're going to know between 8 and 9. Can you shoot us an email? Yeah. What's it? Shoot us an email. We'll sure. let you know. Sure. Mm -hmm. See you later. Okay. okay. See, See you later. See you later. Yeah. Catch you back at the rates. We yeah. had a staff appreciation week last week. PTO was awesome. Right. Just for the sake of time. Oh, um, I, I think I've updated you on most of these. So, Emma. Well, I missed Emma no, Linderman, our school that? psychologist, Maybe is retiring. Oh. She seems so young to be yeah. retiring. Like it says. Whenever she <laughs> sat down and she Thanks said, um, nope. I'm retiring, I'm like, what she's like it's really been hard her age surprised she's she uh, surprised me she's been she in education so for 43 years oh my god yeah really? 43 years yeah yeah wow yeah so um we haven't had a lot of great luck it's been posted on school spring for about it's really hard to get school weeks. psychologists i know no. i know yeah. So, um, really, it seems like a that under dream your, job. Keep that on, under your, We're, uh, <laughs> you're, you're looking for one for this we have, a, we have an amazing intern at our building this year. Well, tell yeah, you and we're, No, and we're looking for one in our building. Uh, so please, doesn't Cindy so Birch want to come back to Conway? You have to tell that person that Conway is just so much better. Doesn't oh, Cindy Birch want to come back to Conway? No, She's at Waitley, right? <laughs> She's at Wheatley. She wants to lure her back to Conway. <laughs> I, I know. I think um, Cindy probably wants to finish up her career staying put. I, I think some people have reached out to Cindy. Oh, I bet yeah. they have. Yeah, yeah. 
Jody's. I could actually probably stir somebody your way. Please do. About that. Please do. You're both in the field. Both in the field, yeah. It's a lot of testing, right? No. You know what? I, I looked at that because I was wondering um, someone would ask that question. So next year it's probably going to be about eight. No, it's not bad at all. So that's not terrible. That's no, not. Um, people in Springfield do that in a week. Exactly. 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 Yeah, really letting people know there's a lot of adjustment counselor things. It's like practically half. Yeah. I think would attract uh, psychologists that are getting tired of just doing testing. Yeah. yeah. And Emma posted it. We wrote up a nice description mm -hmm. about exactly, you know, focusing more on the students yeah. and the staff. Mm -hmm. And um, she put it in something that, that the psycho yeah. psychology yeah. New England probably Western Mass School Psych well, Association yeah, yeah. yeah so we're hoping maybe we'll get something okay. um and Sally I Peterson helped get the Deerfield psychologist what would you say down at Deerfield who's still the, who's there Giselle now? is Giselle. Yeah. Yeah. Giselle and I she's went to school really together nice. yeah she's, she's she was a she's, big and she was in Springfield she's great yeah. Yeah. so I this job was open when Cindy left and then it's, they all shuffled and Emma came here is that what happened to Giselle Giselle. Giselle. Yeah. she's just now it's gonna do something anyway she probably does in the Springfield district yeah putting the word out yeah okay that it is a pay cut coming from Springfield though yeah but worth the lifestyle change yes. Sally, um, one of our IAs, will be retiring as well. Um, and Jody, that's going to be big shoes to fill. Yeah, yeah. so we um, we had, you know, Jody's irreplaceable. Her connections were kids, and, and I mean, that's our main, that's what we're looking for. And I'll tell you that we had some phenomenal, can like, I'm sleeping better at night. We had some great, great candidates. Oh, and great. what I'm looking for is that personality for connecting with kids. Yeah. You know? yep. How will this is this person going to be connecting with kids? We can teach a lot of other things, but we've had some. We had a couple great candidates that you have to be very um, organized too. Organized, um, creative, following some of the traditions of, of the program. And, and I really uh, appreciated Jody's um, movement this year towards student choice. Like student she, choice she with the rest of the school. Also. Yeah, so that was really good. So. Um, I do know that we are making a formal offer to one candidate. Okay. I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. But really thrilled with the um, this person has an elementary education certification and has been doing these types of programs and really likes this type of program, especially the outdoor education type which part, which is great. So okay. that's been great. Um, and we're having our third annual walk, fun, walk, run, 5K on Sunday. So we're cool. excited about that. Thank you. We have over 100 families, 100 people signed up, just CGS oh, cool. families. Oh, okay, we're coming down. Yay. Last time I rode my bike <laughs> instead of walked or ran. <laughs> that worked out better for me. Um, Lynn, do we have a report from you? Your report yes. is due. I'd yeah. like to um, announce my resignation. Uh, as of June 30th, and I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to work with you and welcoming me into your community. We thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. We don't have to vote on that, do we? Mm -hmm. We have to vote to accept it. Mm -hmm. And what if we don't? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'll make the motion to accept Lynn's resignation. Second. I'll abstain. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. With regret, says the, is that the Deerfield Committee? Yeah, the Deerfield said with regret. With regret. And um, I think Frontier was with deep regret. And Sunderland, I, I was almost in tears, so it was just really nice. That's nice. And so anyway, but thank you. I'll put regret down. It's a big loss for the district, it really is. Thank you. So, I mean, I know you had an uphill climb with lots of things to work on, but I think you took it on very bravely and didn't just, you know, just throw in the towel. So, um, you know, people, because it's a nice district and there's a lot of good things to it, people think it's all mm -hmm. kind of a piece of cake, but it's never a piece of cake to take over from either like Judy being here a long time or Marty being a 
local and embedded in the system and then you know they don't realize that then there's a lot of things that have sort of gone you know any new eyes see things you know like walking into the the first time I came to see you in your new office and you take me to the basement like <laughs> that was like that should have been when you ran screaming right there you know it was when the birds it was pouring rain out yes, the birds I were in the that. chimney and it was just but anyway well, and the mold in the basement mm -hmm. was <coughs> horrific I mean you're I mean I, I I've taken over jobs like that where you just look like how could anybody have let this go on it wasn't just one person it was years of letting that happen so. Well, it was underway, though. I mean, the the uh, inspection had been done. It was it was oh, underway. Yeah. I just um, steered it away from Sandy Lane to the high school. Totally. And it was a good move, except for Ira, kind of got moved out of his office. Oh, that's but fine. He was gracious. I like being him. a vagabond. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. I think it's, it saves yeah. the district money. You're right there. Yeah. I think it's a much better integration to have. Yeah. Why not use the space? I so. enjoyed it. Um, so you know, I had a great a great office. Yeah. And, so, but thank well, you very much. we wish much. you luck in your career, but it is not a good thing for the district. Mm -hmm. I so. think that's it. Great. Yes. Is that it? And I have a motion to adjourn at 646. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.